Welcome back to MacBreak Studio. I'm in the studio today with uh, Sam Messman. And for those of you who don't know who Sam is, he was one of the early Final Cut Pro 10 pioneers who took a lot of arrows in the back, <laughs> as well myself and Mark Spencer did. And uh, he's been on the forefront of writing blogs, uh, doing workflows for big Hollywood companies. And well, here he is in the flesh. He's going to show us some of his cool stuff. Uh, I actually think it's cooler to come hang out here. I'm not really, you know, <laughs> it's, I'm, a, I'm psyched too. So. Um, Thanks for having me, Steve. You're welcome. So what are you going to show us? So basically, uh, what I'm going to show you is, is a lot of people don't really know um, how much you can do just with the keyboard in Final Cut. A lot of people feel like it's a mouse-based application, but actually, like, you can be extremely precise with the, with the keyboard. And actually, if you know the keyboard shortcuts, you can get in and around the application um, extremely quickly and probably faster than you probably could in Final Cut 7 uh, with some of the things that you do. So. Uh, mostly, I was just going to try and see how far I can get here without using a mouse. So basically, it's going to be like, look, ma, no hands or no mouse. That's yeah, like, something like oh, yeah. that. So look, ma, no mouse. <laughs> All there right, we excellent. go. So basically, um, you know, we'll, we'll start right here in the event browser. And, and one thing that a lot of people don't know is what tab and shift tab does in the event browser. So for instance, right now, and I'm going to try not to use the mouse here, but I'm in the event browser in the clip area where I'm just going up and down looking at my clips. But what Using if I, your arrow up and down arrow keys. With the up and down arrow keys. And, but what if I wanted to switch events? A lot of people don't know that if I push shift tab, now I'm back in the film strip. But if I push shift tab again, I'm actually now back in the event library area. What is this actually called? This is the... Uh, it's eh. the library. So the library area. Right. We'll call it the library area. That's exactly what it is. And I can open with the left and right arrow keys to see keywords and come up and down, around. So you opened it with left and arrow keyboard, a left arrow to open or spill open the event. And or then right arrow is going to open and left arrow is going to close. Oh, I see. And then to get into the keyword collections and smart collections, you use the down arrow. Yeah. And then the down arrow is going to dive into the keyword or smart collection. And then if I push tab again and I push tab, I can go up and down, so tab twice or shift tab twice to get back there because tab is going to bring me into the film strip area. And actually, I should go to a clip where there's some video there. And so, and you can tell where you are because it'll turn blue. So, if you see, like it turns blue here, and now I'm in the film strip area, but now I'm in the library area, and I can go flip around to the various keyword collections. So, that's just to get started. Um, and actually, if I push Shift Tab again, it's going to allow me to search. So let's search for Crater now, right? And and again, folks, he's, he hasn't touched the the trackpad at all. And now we're Tab. I'm going to go back into the top level event. Tab, Tab. And here's something else that's interesting. A lot of people don't know about is as you're going through, you can hold down Shift to select multiple clips. But if you're watching, I'm Shift selecting. And the thumbnail's not updating. I'm not seeing the new clip appear. All right, so that film strip is, is basically remaining on the top clip that's selected in the list. Mm -hmm. Which is why, if you're going to do something like this and you want to shift select footage, you should start from the bottom. And if I shift select from the bottom, I can always see what the new thumbnail is. So for instance, if you are uh, looking for multiple takes to batch rename, for instance, if you're shift selecting upwards, you can count down from take four to three to two to one. Is that is that an oversight? Is why would it why would it go I have upward? no idea, but it works, and that's the <laughs> way I'm typically like rattling through, and it's going to update. But if I go the other way, nothing. Okay, that that needs that needs to be addressed. <laughs> that's just <laughs> odd. But the, well, it works. It works. Work in both directions. <laughs> you would think so. I don't know. I guess it's what it's looking at is the top level there, yeah, and maybe then it is. maybe it is. I have, there's probably some sort of explanation. All I know is I happen to come across something <laughs> like, all right, well, I'll start from the bottom then. And, and that's kind of, um, yeah. So anyway, let's go and, and actually do a little editing. So if I go uh, shift tab to go into the uh, film strip, you'll notice that now my in and outs are highlighted. And if I go, I'm going to set an in, I'm going to set an out as he's, you normally he's would. He's using J, K, and L and set an I so, and O. And then I'm going to push and I'm going to do shift command I. And I'm going to do a multiple selection, shift command O. Then I'm going to do Shift Command I, Shift Command O. So I have three selections. Now I'm going to favorite those. So if you notice, there's a little green bar there. I'm going to push Tab, and I'm going to come down. Now it's blue in this area. And if I push the right arrow, it's going to open up and allow me to select a favorite. We'll call this Great 
called it. And I pushed enter to rename. Even greater. Uh, greater. <laughs> and then greatest. And push enter. And then I'm going to shift select these three clips. And I'm going to push E to enter them into the timeline. And now we're down into the timeline. And I'm going to zoom in. By the way, was there a keyboard shortcut? To, I think it was like Command-2 to, to make the timeline. Oh, yeah, Command-2 ah. to get. So it's <laughs> Command-1 from the event browser, Command-2 to get to the timeline. And then Shift-Z Shift <laughs> is going to put everything into the screen here. Nice. And now I can select and I can edit. Now, and I showed this on the user group, how you can do this with some dynamic trimming type options where um, you can now play through and uh, edit pretty much dynamically using just the keyboard without touching the mouse. So like select an edit point right now, which is just, just All right, so I'm gonna select the left edge here oh. by using the left bracket. I'm gonna select the right edge by using the right bracket. I'm gonna select both edges by using the hitting the forward slash key. Or and is that the backslash key? It looks like- I think it's, I don't know. No, which that's one's the backslash. Is this the backslash? Yeah, that's the, the forward backslash? slash key is right under the question mark. By using the backslash key. <laughs> the, the slash that's next to the bracket. Yeah. So <laughs> your, your three fingers are just right there, right yeah. next to each other. Boom, so. boom, boom. Nice. That's really nice. And so now I can change the edit, right? Just by using, so we'll, we'll roll it five frames by pushing plus five. I'm gonna move it back a second by pushing one period. And then I'm going to play, and let's stop it right here. And I'm going to use Shift X to have it snap right to the playhead. Nice. So, you know, depending on what you want to do, you can, you know, and by the way, if you want to select a clip, then well, I'm going to select the clip and push Control S. Now I'm going to expand the audio. When you selected the clip, was that the C key? The C key. Ah, okay. So you C to select the clip and then Control S. To expand the to audio. expand it. Yes. So let's do that with this clip, and we'll do Control S there. And now I have both of these, but I can only select the video, right? Right. No, if I do Shift and Slash, I can select the audio now. <laughs> That's fantastic. And I'm going to do plus one period, move that forward, go back two seconds, minus two, period. Wow. Or do the same thing, you know, Shift with X. Shift X. And I'm trimming. I'm doing basically anything I need to do. I haven't touched. Have you seen me touch the I have. I, I, I can attest. I have, he's not touched the track pad. It's all been keyboard. And then it's I can always great. come right back up or actually come down. And I can see this edit in the event browser. And Did I just you, match uh, frame. Shift, shift F, F to match frame. And I can even, if I come down here, uh, I think it's Shift Option F. And that's going to reveal the project I'm working in right from the web browser. <laughs> wow. So anyway, you can do a ton just working from the keyboard and never having to use your mouse if you want to. And you find working on sets and working with your various clients that this is your preferred workflow. You can just you get you know, so fluid, like almost like a keyboard. If you just well, ironically, right? I actually don't edit this way. Uh, I'm going to use a lot of the event browser shortcuts. But what I'm actually really going to do, I can show you this, is if you come into the command area. Now I'm using the mouse. I cheated. Okay. Um, but we go under prefer or not preferences, but commands. What I'm actually going to do is I'm going to map uh, trim start and trim end to the G and H keys respectively. So I'm going to type in trim start. And I'm oh, yeah, before you do, oh. notice he's got to set the color correction. You want to set that back to the default. And actually, I'll probably just yeah see. Uh, this, I don't know what it is about uh, <laughs> forgetting to reset the keyboard back to the fault. And uh, this. We'll come there you this go. Sand. There you go. And I'm going to drag trim start onto G. Okay. And I'm going to drag trim end onto H. And now, actually, I find this is much easier than just doing what I just did because I'm going to trim and actually I'll switch this mode to audio only. And now if I'm I can just look at the waveforms and actually let's see where are the waveforms here. I don't think we have much audio in these clips. No, no, there's no audio in those, but so pretending that there was, I would be looking across here. And now because trim starts mapped to a really weird place normally, but this way I've just got one finger on the keyboard and I want I know I want to be starting my edit here. So I'm just going to push G, right? And then I'm going to trim the end of this. I want to be out Kind of, and, and you can be very precise with this. And uh, we'll be right, right about there. 
and I'm going to trim the end of the clip. And I'm just and this way, it's a much faster way without having to go and do some gym, hand gymnastics to quickly go and up and down and just kind of trim, you know, however I want using this. And it's, it's I haven't found a faster way to work. I, I think it's great because you're right. The the additional option yeah. you know, backslash or With the modifier every time you want to do yeah. it. It's uh, this is just. Instantaneous. In fact, uh, like zooming in, uh, you know, your shift plus, yeah. shift minus, I don't even like that. I just want one keyboard plus minus yeah. to zoom. So I remap tons of stuff that way because I, I like one single tap for. Uh, Especially for common things that you're doing constantly, and zoom is one of those, you know. Uh, so. uh, absolutely. So that. That's that's fantastic. I mean, uh, I'm, you taught me some things about the shift tab and tab. I, I didn't even know that was in there. In fact, I was struggling this morning. How do I get from you know library to the clip and then go up and down? And that's fantastic. Yeah, I didn't know it was there, and then someone showed me, and I was like, oh, that was really useful. <laughs> now I use it constantly. So. Excellent, excellent. So. Um, Thanks for uh, joining us on the show. Thanks for uh, sharing your knowledge with us, both in the user groups and here. And if you uh, if you want to follow Sam's exploits uh, at uh, Twitter, it's a, I think it's at FCP Works. At FCP Works, and then our website is www.fcpworks, and go to the blog, and you can see whatever it is I'm writing that day. All right, well, fantastic. Thank you for watching another episode of MacBreak Studio. Be sure to follow us at Ripple Training and check out our website for our latest Final Cut Pro tutorials. Um, Thanks again, and uh, thank you for watching MacBreak Studios.